What's up, y'all? Out here at the range again, doing a bunch of gel testing. Got kind of a different angle, y'all can probably notice here. I'm trying to fight with the sun, with the leaves going off the trees. This, this shadows and sun's wreaking havoc on my filming out here. But So we might have a bunch of different angles. I might be running, chasing the shade to make sure you get a good picture. But anyway... What we're doing today is we're continuing on with the 22 Magnum testing. Y'all know last week or about a week or so ago, I started doing some 22 Mag testing out of a little Heritage Revolver, and we're going to continue that same little track here today. We got the same tool we're going to use today, three and a half inch Heritage Rough Rider Revolver with the 22 Magnum cylinder in it. And what we're testing today is a couple things that a lot of people have requested. One is the 40 grain gold dot the spear gold dot 22 magnum jacketed hollow point as you can see you probably can't see real good but just regular spear gold dot jacketed hollow point nickel plated case on it 40 grain and something else a couple people actually requested and i just happen to have thanks to bill die is these federal v shocks loaded with the 30 grain spear tnt projectiles now these are not nickel plated just brass but they are jacketed hollow point and the only difference i can see well obviously there's a weight difference but there's a little bit of difference on the projectiles and this i'm sure this ain't gonna come through on this camera but the uh, spear tnt actually the uh the little segment action the little cuts on the jacket they actually remind me more of a nine millimeter spear gold dot than the actual gold dot does uh if y'all know what i'm saying if y'all have used that spear gold dot nine millimeter you know it's got kind of a unique uh tip on it where those little flutes or, or serrations or whatever you call, want to call it are made so a little bit of difference in the appearance of these projectiles but other than that they're they're very similar set for that grain difference now that's the right much when you're talking about 10 grain out of four 40 and 30 that that's a pretty good difference there but anyway i've had a couple people request these so we're gonna see what they do uh our last test you remember we did the critical defense and the uh the american qualities and those critical defense were really impressive with the mushrooming and expansion so hopefully one of these will be the same way or maybe both of them so let me get all this stuff out of the way and let's get started all right, y'all, let's get some speeds on these things. We're going to start out with the 40 grain spear gold dot on this. I'm just going to do a two round average because these are hard to come by. Y'all know the drill. So let's do two rounds and see what kind of speeds the gold dots are giving us. Got an error, of course. 972. and 1042 so let's go see what the two round average on that is all right so a two round average on the spear gold dot 40 grains is a thousand feet per second so let's go check out those federal spear tnts all right let's see what we can get on these again this is the federal v-shock loaded with the 30 grain spear tnt projectiles now those gold dots are are claiming they're made for short barrel they're more of a short barrel defensive round these aren't saying that so be curious to see what the difference here is but we're gonna get a two round average on these also but let's see what we got y'all there we go 12.32 nothing there we go finally 1172 let's get the two round average on that thing all right so the two round average on those spear tnts the federal v-shocks was 1202 so that's right much faster as if you remember on the gold dots the average was a thousand seven so 1202 versus a thousand seven you talking about right at 198 feet per second difference is that yeah 200 basically right at 200 feet per second difference uh that that's a substantial amount of difference those federals are cooking out of there so hopefully we'll get some good performance out of them but let me get this stuff out of the way y'all know what time it is all right y'all get your biscuits ready because it's jelly time we're gonna start out with the spear gold dot the 40 grain gold dot i just got a feeling we got a couple winners on our hands here today but i could be proven wrong let's see what we get y'all Ah, I'm trying to get a little more lift, but I mean, that's a good shot. Let's go down there and take a look at it.
All right, y'all, that was definitely a good clean hit. I'm just, I'm trying to be stingy with that jelly. Y'all know how I am. I wanted to get it over to the left so I could do three tests on this block, but I'll probably still find a way to squeeze it in. You know how I am with the jelly. But uh, for now, let's check out this TNT. We got the V-Shock loaded with the Spear uh, TNT. So 30 grain on this one. Let's see what we get here. All right, nice clean hit right there, right up under and a little to the left, That was, or a little to the right, so that was perfect right there. So let's go down there and check them things out. All right, y'all, we got some pretty good results out of these here. Uh, pretty big difference, though, as far as penetration and, from what I can tell, expansion, but I'll, I'll have to take a closer look here. So, obviously, what we got here on the top, that's the spear gold dot. Travel, travel, travel. It looked like right here is where it turned around. So, it, it went on quite a ways on in there before it did flip around there. So, then the projectile ended up there. Uh, now, that V-Shock with the 30 grain spear TNT come in right here, looked like it, it pretty much expanded immediately and stopped right here, rested, tilting down a little bit, the forward of the, the front end of the bullets pointing down a little bit. But I can just tell you without even pulling it yet that that thing expanded really, really nice. So perfect test on both of those, but a lot more penetration on the gold dot for sure. So let me get a measurement and we'll see exactly what the penetration is. All right, so on the spear gold dot, we're sitting at 14 inches of penetration on the Federal V-Shock with the Spear TNT projectile. Uh, we look like we made it out to seven and a half, rebounded back to about seven. So definitely a lot of difference, actually twice, twice the penetration from the gold dot than we got from the Federal V-Shock. So let me pull those projectiles, we'll take a look at those. All right, y'all, let me show you all what we got here. So over on the right here, this is the Spear Gold Dot. Spear gold dot here, and that's the V-Shock with the spear TNT here on the left. These things are so small, it's hard to even hold them and get y'all a good shot. But uh, as y'all can see, I think they both performed great. Now, this spear gold dot didn't expand as much, uh, but I would say that's because it tumbled there towards the end of its little trip into jail. But that being said, it still expanded enough to where I would definitely feel comfortable using this as a self-defense round if I was using 22 Magnum for self-defense. Uh, now, this V-Mac, or the V-Shock here with the Spear TNT, this thing performed, I mean, amazing. Look at that little mushroom, y'all. That's a perfect little mushroom. I mean, you can't even ask for any more expansion than that. I mean, that's, that's beautiful expansion out of that round right there. I mean, that's perfect. Uh, as far as the size, this one here, you're looking at three-eighths of an inch, and this one was a sixteenth of an inch less. So, like I say, both of them did a great job, in, in my opinion. I think these performed fantastic. Um, as far as a self-defense round, me personally, if I was going to use one of these for self-defense, I would pick the Gold Dot. Uh, it did expand enough, in my opinion, and it got more penetration, which in a 22 Magnum, um, I'm thinking I, I want that extra penetration. Now, as far as like a hunting, like something like a varmint hunting round, this V-Shock right here would be amazing, I think. It got enough penetration to handle some small game, and the expansion is just amazing on this little round. Perfect expansion. But as far as self-defense, me personally, um, I would choose this gold dot. And then this was, again, this was out of a three and a half inch revolver. So out of a little small semi-auto, it would probably perform even better. So um, I think the gold dot is definitely the way to go as far as the self-defense round. But y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about these. All right, y'all, another 22 Magnum jelly test down. Pretty good test on this one right here. Both of these rounds, the Spear Gold Dot and that Spear TNT that's loaded in that uh, Federal V-Shot performed fantastic in my opinion. Uh, like I say, as far as it's self-defense, if I were using this as self-defense, I'd take that Gold Dot myself uh, just because it got that extra penetration and it still expanded pretty well. Uh, even though it even tumbled at the end, it still got some nice expansion on it. Now, it's like I say, if I was a hunter and I was hunting something like small game, that V-Shot would be fantastic, I think. Like I say it got nice penetration as far as like a small game kind of round and the uh, expansion was phenomenal on that thing i mean a perfect little mushroom out of that round so 
Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. If you was using this for self-defense, which one would you rather have? You would you rather have that gold dot with that extra penetration and less expansion or vice versa with the V-Shock? I'm curious to see what y'all's thoughts are on that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot of testing out here today, so these are going to be rolling out for sure. Uh, plenty more 22 Magnum to come and a whole lot more caliber. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe so you can see it when it pops up. Um, Check out my Amazon affiliate storefront link down in the description. Like I always ask you, if you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link first. It takes you through the site, Amazon site, just like normal. Don't cost you any extra money, any extra time. Uh, anything you buy through Amazon, any even if it's not on that link, we get a kickback from Amazon towards the channel. So that helps out, and I appreciate y'all who've been doing that. Appreciate all my range gang members who reached down and hit that join button. That definitely helps the channel out. Appreciate each and every single one of y'all who watches my videos, who hits that thumbs up, and who subscribes to the channel and keeps of my new videos coming out that really really helps and i really appreciate y'all for doing that but like i said i got a whole lot more stuff coming down the pipeline so make sure y'all stay tuned in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon